Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Two old guys talking about stuff. And today I have a stuff question for you, John. Uh, I uh, have two or three doctor visits a year, and they're all in person. And um, my wife uh, also has uh, several appointments with a variety of doctors. 99% of them in person. And she just recently did one that was online. And it was actually a video call. And it was okay because it was a follow-up to a, a, a in-person visit where she got test results. Right. But you uh, seem to have a lot of online uh, uh, te telephonic or video conferences with doctors. And I do. Uh, yeah. Uh, and how do you like them? I mean, are they okay? Um, well, they're fine. And it's listen, it's good to have frequent contact with your doctors. And of course, as we get older, I call it collecting doctors. You know, you've got one for every possible organ in your body, it seems like. <laughs> um, so there's more doctors to coordinate with each other, more medicines to integrate with the pharmacist. I now even have, by the way, I now even have a pharmacist specialist, a ph uh, including on my list of doctors. Don't ask. At any rate, um, they all want to do uh, online, whatever it is, Zoom, or there's some other program that they all use, uh, and make an appointment. You sit by your computer. It's kind of like we do Skype and stuff. And it's fine in the sense that it's good to have the contact. It's good to have the update. You can answer, ask questions. Gee, what is this, Doc? I can't. I found this little thing on my... Um, but it's not satisfactory to me. Mm -hmm. I think what's happened is the medical profession generally likes the online visits because it's easier and faster and they can see more people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nobody in a waiting room. There's no pressure. They can take a cup of coffee or whatever it is, but they also can get more done. But it's not the same. I, For instance, uh, I have a dermatologist who last saw me last year. He said, well, you should come back every year. We should take a look at it. Book something for August. Well, you can't book something for August in August. You can't book something in August in January. Mm. You can't book anything ahead more than three months. So three. I have an August meeting with him for this thing up here. Mm. So three months ago or three months before August, I call up and I make an appointment. Oh, I'm sorry. He's booked till November. Wow. <laughs> you know, so now I finally did get, somehow we maneuvered it, and I will actually get to go see him in August. You mean bring but your real that, body? I, you I, bring I your real body? I should have taken a look at this two months ago, mm. you know, when I was trying to make an appointment. So I, I, I'm not happy with the, with, with the way that online visits are used to supplement, not supplement, but to replace mm. in-person in visits. It's not the same. And and let's face it, for the doctor, you know, modern medicine is about, we've talked to Dr. Liz about this, it's about testing. Take a test. If I see something wrong, then we'll go deal with it, right? If you're, this marker is good and that marker is good and your blood pressure is okay and blah, 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 then we don't have to do anything other than maybe an online, hello, how are you, how you feeling? But I disagree. I, I think the looking in the eye and squeezing the ankles for blood pressure and um, looking at the color of their skin and all of that. I think it's really important. And, and it, it's gone by the wayside for modern, modern medicine. Yeah, I, I, I've been skeptical other than as a consultation, perhaps after a visit, and they gather all the data together as a follow up, but without having that uh, face to face, and yeah. then be able to see your color, to be able to see some uh, slight variations and changes. Um, yeah. I would find that not to my liking, and I probably wouldn't choose a doctor who that's the way it was going to be. And for me, that's the way it is with all of them. Mm. It it's, it is seems to be the standard operating procedure. Right. Well, maybe it's also that I have a, I really only have two doctors. I see my dermatologist for you know, finding out things about skin cancer. And I see him actually uh, now three times a year.
because I had a melanoma in the past, actually five years ago. So that's good. Uh, uh, and in fact, uh, I'll, I'll see my third doctor. Uh, I'll be seeing in August, and that'll be the last time I see her. Thankfully, because uh, everything is clear. And, yeah. Uh, but I see my and what I do is I just make every time I leave his office on the way out, I'm making the next appointment for uh, three months later. And my GP, I see twice a year and he gives me two series of blood tests. I come in a week before, have my blood tests. And by the time I show right. up for that. Right. But it's always in person. And uh, yeah. Good we, for sh you. we shake hands and we talk and, and we talk about things in general. And and then he goes over all my stuff in detail. And I like that. So, you know, yeah. maybe it's impractical in some cases. You're also more rural than uh, you used to be. And that that's per sure. perhaps that's, that's part of uh, why uh, they set those things up. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, folks, uh, if you're watching this, and I know you are, let us know how you feel about these online visits. And if you think your doctors are giving you enough um, personal care, mm. uh, or, you know, without being paranoid about it, do you really need it? But ask yourself, do I need more? Right. And, uh, you know, I keep thinking the only doctor who sees me more than once a year is my dentist. He wants to see me four times a year. Oh, you can't do that online. You know, I'll, I'll bet they'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, well, it's nice seeing all of you and our audience online, but, uh, I think our unanimous opinion is that if you can see a doctor in the flesh, it's probably something that we would recommend and yeah. you probably feel more comfortable with as well. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.